A U.S. military aircraft has crashed off the coast of Japan with six people reportedly on board this Osprey aircraft. Yeah, it can take off like a helicopter, but can fly like a plane. The Japanese Coast Guard says at least one member of the crew was found dead. International correspondent Chris Gilbert is in Tokyo. And Chris, what have we learned overnight? Well, we know that this uh, this uh, Osprey aircraft departed from the Iwakuni Air Force Base that's near uh, Hiroshima on Japan's main island. It was heading to the huge U.S. Uh, Air Force Base on the Okinawan Islands, and about halfway there, it was near a small island called Yuk uh, Yukushima, and it made an emergency request to the airport there to immediately land. And about five minutes after that, uh, local fishers reported seeing uh, the aircraft reportedly turn around in the air, roll around a bit, the left uh, engine on fire before crashing into the ocean. Uh, the first people to respond were local fishing boats. Uh, they stopped what they were doing to attend. Uh, the U.S., uh, sorry, the Japan Coast Guard sent six Navy vessels as well as two helicopters. Uh, three people have been uh, recovered so far, but one, as you mentioned, uh, tragically passing away uh, in hospital. Uh, there's going to be a, a lot of search and rescue over the, the course of the coming hours, but for now, uh, certainly a very tragic incident for the U.S. military in Japan. Chris, do we know what uh, caused this crash or what the moments were like leading up to it? Yeah, so we are actually in just the uh, the immediate hours following the incident, and so the government is focusing on search and rescue at the moment. There is definitely going to be an investigation by the government and by the U.S. military into that. I can say that, that the meteorological agency said that conditions were fine at the time, winds were low, uh, there were no weather advisories in place. Uh, we also do know that the Osprey aircraft does have a somewhat troubled history. One crashed in 2010 uh, in Afghanistan, killing four U.S. military personnel. There have been incidents in Australia in 2017 and earlier this year where three uh, personnel died each time. So it does have a somewhat troubled history. But as I say, those details are still to emerge in the uh, coming uh, days and weeks. International correspondent Chris Gilbert reporting live from Tokyo. Chris, thanks so much.